Hello there guys, my name is the Marshal from Mars and welcome back to Skyrim Thief episode 8. Arissa is off, I don't know where she's going. Uh, today we're going to be officially starting the Thieves Guild. Uh, managed to get that stupid glitch uh, fixed from last week. Uh, Brynjolf was being a bastard and kept attacking us whenever we went in. Uh, even though he invited us in, which makes no sense. Um... <laughs> Turns out it was caused by a 7k better white run. Uh, kind of weird. Something to do with the files in it. Um, fucked it up. So, yeah. Uh, that's fixed. Uh, we got two new armors for Thurinef and Arissa. Uh, Thurinef is wearing the Temptra Thief armor. Uh, new armor. Uh, reminds me of uh, Thief. You know, the franchise Thief. Uh, looks very Garrett. And Arissa has got the true thief armor, which, uh, if she'd come into the light... Come over here. Arissa, come here. Yeah, it looks, uh, pretty damn nice as well. Uh, very good textures. Um, fantastic textures, actually, on both. Um, also got the hood as well, which, um, I usually wear, but as you can see, uh, Thurinef has dyed her hair. Uh, dark brown. I thought it suited more of a thief character, so that's why I've done it. And I added a couple of extra features, like uh, scratch marks on her cheek, as you can just about see there. Uh, so yeah, uh, pop the hood on. There we go. Uh, we're looking like a badass thief. So now we're going to go and officially join the Thieves Guild and do a couple of missions. Brynjolf. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Uh, before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. True? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm doing Jeet Nukem. Oh dear. It's a right shithole this place really, isn't it? I suppose it's a sewer, so kinda makes sense. Oh, a hidden cabinet. Nothing weird. Three people going in a cabinet. Nothing weird people. All right, into the ragged flag and cistern we go. Good need, cheap food, and a great place to fence your more discounted items. What's not to love? Let's go, let's go. After you, Brynjolf. This place is actually pretty huge. I never really realized. It's uh, pretty cool, though. Mercer trying to be epic. He is kind of epic, but that's not, that's not the point. We're on training over there. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brignol. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Ah, uh, he is. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. All right, wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow Eye. Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, Rissa still the So, let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. 
He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Uh, okay. Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Hey! Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Uh, so how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, okay. And talk to Tanelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Don't want new armor. I got fucking amazing armor. Tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. Ah, uh, what's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Ah, uh, makes sense. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Uh, what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Okay. Piss. You Piss yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't... Let's go, Arissa. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Right, so let's go talk to these dickheads and then we'll get going on that job. Uh... God, where are you going? What are you doing? You fucking weirdo. Uh, right. Oh, God. There we go. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Oh, I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What's happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it to you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Dun dun dun. A curse? What do we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around out here. Put yeah. things back the way they were. <laughs> That's where you come in. Sorry, I just spat in you. Available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Oh, that's quite nice. There's plenty more work for the likes of you. Oh, oh God! Are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. All right, so, Vex, whatever your name is. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. Oh. One. I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. I, I, now, I didn't say anything. Get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain It's a curse. Uh, so what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Nope. Not a bad deal. Don't oh, that's easy. Now. There's plenty of loot out there, just right for the taking. Yeah, I gotta go speak to this other woman. So you're the new recruit, huh? 
Yep. Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. Oh, really? Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Uh, is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Oh, that's nice. Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. You Whatever. Can play it tough. At the you end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Good. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Oh, what you got for sale? Take a look. Oh, we can sell her all of our stolen shit? That's awesome. Blow some shit up or burn some hives or something like that. Let's go, Arisa. Let's go, double time. Not running on the spot. Good, I thought she glitched then. That was weird. Fast travel. Du -du 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 -du. I don't know. I think I've been smoking drugs or something. Right, so... Uh... Gonna go in and fuck shit up. Uh, I haven't got any particular strategy for this. Uh, it's been like at least a year since I've done this, so hopefully I won't fuck it up. Uh, probably will though. Loud and clear. All right, we'll go to the stables and go from there. Um. I remember there's loads of, like, secret routes and stuff uh, that you can take to get there, so we can do that. Uh, we could try and do it without killing anyone. Uh, I don't know whether that's actually... Alright, so we're back. Uh, game crashed. Don't know why, but uh, we're back anyway, just outside the island. Uh, we better fucking... I'm gonna quit that. Um... Yeah, just something crashed. It happens just sometimes. If you've got a heavily modded game. Uh, but hopefully, I think it's fixed itself, presumably. Um, so, yeah, let's go do this mission. Nin route. Um, hmm. Right, so that's the thing we have to burn, from what I remember. So. We'll go a bit further out and around here. Is Arissa still following? Yeah, she is, I think. That's her. Right, it says we're on top of it, but that's... Oh, it's right there. Dumbass. I didn't even notice. Fucking hell. What a twat. Right. Okay, we're gonna go slow and steady. Uh, one more skeever. Two more skeevers? Two more skeevers. Three more skeevers, wow. Oh, she beat me to it. Oh well, good kill. Let's move up. Hmm. Alright, be careful of that. in there. That's weird. Is that the vault? Looks like a jail cell. Fuck. Oh, god damn. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Impressive. Oh god, there's another one. Not 
much there, just the gold, but then the gold's all we need. Please, for the love of Jesus, don't knock that. Oh, God. Second thought, maybe we should. Alright, Arisa, come over here. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, God. Oh yeah, that's how we do it. Uh, I remember this place being so big. I thought it was like a room. It's weird. Is this the right way? Mm, no, I don't think it's the right way. Ugh. Right, let's check this map. Ah, okay, we went the wrong way. God's sake. Right. It says there's a way down there. Oh. Can we do that? Is that allowed? Uh, sorry, Arissa. We're going to go this way. Uh, I don't think that's actually allowed. <laughs> Modi playthrough? Uh, hopefully I haven't fucked up the quest by doing this. I hope. Hey, there it is. Yeah, I think we did. Oh well. Alright, we're gonna pit pocket this. Pick. Lock pick. Fucking hell. Lock pick this. Uh, just to get our lock pick up. Alright, I need to I need to chill out, calm down, you know, just take it slow. Hey. Oh, so you did follow us. Awesome. Gold. Very clever. I right, thank you for all the compliments. Right, let's go back out through the sewer. See, that's what I like about mods. Although it it kind of yeah, it does kind of break the mission, but it's kind of. When you've played it before, it doesn't really feel like cheating, if you know what I mean. Like obviously, for the first people who first play Skyrim, shouldn't play it like this. But for people who've played, the people who have played it multiple times, you know, it's kind of it's more fun, I think. Right? Have we got a good shot? Fire arrows. Is someone there? Right, I didn't go anywhere near it, so we'll wait a sec. Over here. Oh, Rissa! What? Uh, I should whisper. That's pretty cool. Where's the thing? It usually says. Now keep quiet. Or just wait here then. Alright, we need to get to a better spot.
I feel like I'm playing Dishonored. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can use a uh, void gate. Uh, I don't think that worked, did it? Or was that the slow mo one? Shit, I think it was. Whoops. That was pretty good. Okay, right, let's go get Arissa and we'll head off. Oh. The guards aren't even aware of what's going on. That's quite good. carried away there. Can't see them. There they are. <gasps> Hello? I guess I was just hearing things. Rissa is still there, yes. Awesome. Alright guys heading back. That was really, really awesome. I actually had quite a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> oh, having fun doing a vanilla quest? Right, are you following us now? Yeah, awesome. Okay, that's that done and dusted. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Local. Oh, knew that would happen. Uh, yes, there we go. Awesome. So, uh, that's pretty fun. Um... Definitely gives you a new way of uh, thinking how to play the game and all that. It's pretty cool. Actually feels like a different game. It's pretty funny. Alright, let's go and check out the secret Wait, entrance. I know you. Nope. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that on? Oh no. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, so amazing. The entrance looks more grand. I don't know whether that's part of the Rift and Thief edition, but still pretty awesome. Hey, guys. I wanted to say something to you. I think you're all right. In fact, I'm kind of impressed how well you're doing around here. Just keep it between us, okay? Okay. I'm sure we'll speak again. Got a minute? Wanted to say something. Right, well, I can't talk now, guys. Uh, Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Yeah, and here's what was in the safe. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? No idea. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. What? Good, it's about time I met her. Uh, I thought I did the job like you asked. 
Sure, but we'll, like, come out there alive. Uh, it's about time, man. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. What does Maven want from me? That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Speaking of which... <laughs> of course. Your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplash. Keep doing right by us. And there's plenty more where that came from. Hey, a hundred gold? That's measly shit pay? What the fuck? Maven wants to see you right away. I suggest you head right over. Alright, so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. And, um... If you've got any mob requests, as per usual, let me know. Uh, next episode, we're gonna go and speak to Maven Blackbriar. And I guess continue the Thieves Guild. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much for watching once again, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.